Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Saturday afternoon, October the 15th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast racing report. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park first for race number nine, one of three stake races, two of which are graded on the card this afternoon, 5.17 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Athena Stakes. Eight and a half furlongs on the turf, grade three. Phillies and mares, three years old, and up race for a stakes prize of $100,000. Contenders number seven, Unbridled Humor. Number four, Thai Haku. Number six, Denomination. And number nine, CC's Pal. Well, folks, the Athenia Stakes is named in honor of uh, Hal Price Heedley's winner of the 1946 Ladies Handicap. In this year's version, the 35th renewal of the stakes event, number seven on Bridal Humor, has won five of six in her career to date, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half for lungs on the grass, including four circle trip results in her last five outings, with three of those wins also qualifying as power runs. Jockey Johnny Velasquez and trainer Graham Motion send her postward this afternoon. They fit the board with 53% of their entry saddle as a team to date, with a 39% win rate producing a positive 151% return on investment in the process. Number four, Thigh Haku, an Irish bread entry, comes off a power run win in her last start. Race 9 summary, number 7 on Bridal Humor, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 4, Thai Haku, number 6, Denomination, and number 9, CC's Pal, 7469 in the ninth from Belmont, the $100,000 Grade 3, Athenia Stakes. Let's go to Keeneland next for Race 9, 5.45 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup Stakes, 9 furlongs on the turf, Grade 1, 3 Aurora Phillies are racing for four hundred thousand dollars contenders number two together number three winter memories number eight summer soiree and number one star billing number two together an irish bread entry in a five to one shot it's the only entry in this grade one affair not taking up a taking a step up in class this afternoon has turned in power run performances in five straight starts hitting the board in three of those adventures Number three, Winter Memories, the morning line favorite, pace profile leader in this field, racing at her about nine furlongs on the turf, has won four times in her last f five starts. How how however, excuse me, kindly note that none of those wins qualified as power runs. Race nine summary, number two together, tops the contenders list, which also includes number three, Winter Memories, number eight, Summer Soiree, and number one, Star Billing. 2381 in the ninth from Keeneland, the $400,000 grade one. Queen Elizabeth II, Challenge Cup Stakes. A couple of bonus long shots for you to ponder. Let's go to Hawthorne first, race number one. Entry number six, Grazy, a ninth, two shot, takes a class drop. Is the overall speed leader in this claiming field, racing at or about today's distance of a mile 70 yards on the dirt. Charlestown, by the way, there's a $500,000 race at Charlestown this evening. Let's take a look. However, race two, the four to one shot, number 10, just for real, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Drops in class by four units, decent overall speed for the six and a half for a long sprint. So handicapping from both Belmont Park and Keeneland on a Saturday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.